wait for that to start up. Check quality things, do that, do that. See if that helps at all. Don't think it will. <laughs> Let's see if I can, um, I can't do that actually, because it's <laughs> that just sorting out one or two things quickly there you go right hey guys it's your boy flame ninja here hope you're a fair day i'm a fair day myself and today we are doing more mario 64 i thought i'd play this today just because um just a bit tired the stream earlier today just because of uh so far my work week lines up like this so <laughs> My current plans, unless my work week changes, uh, is going to be this could be a stream today, then a stream on Wednesday for the Genshin update, and that'll be the two streams for this week. Will be today and Wednesday. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the Genshin update because we're going to get Arlecchino and stuff. Uh, so they're both going to be early streams, and then um, earlier streams. Not very early, but earlier streams, and uh, so no stream on Thursday or Tuesday. Uh, I'll be these two. Um, so yeah, I'm very good at that. I've just got to get my game up quickly. Got to short out getting the game on. <laughs> oh, move that. Doop. Uh, doop. Doop. It's a me, Mario. Wow, 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 wow. Hello! Okie dokie! Uh, and let's just go off to the game now. And let's just let's just go. If it, if it's gonna... Okay. Yeah, we good. Wahoo! Okay, so last time we... What did we do last time? I actually forgot what I did last time. Um... We went downstairs because we fought Bowser. I've done th this door. Oh no, did I unlock this door, I think. This is the one I unlocked, which gives you access to the mirror room, like the sky world and stuff. Ow. Uh, let's try this world because it's right here, so I might as well. I think this is a... Shocking Arrow Lifts. Ah, it's like a... Pseudo Water World. Or it's like half water, half uh, normal. Oh, I didn't realize there's a gap. What's this? Oh, that raises the water level. Oh. Whoa! Hope you all have had a uh, nice weekend and all. My weekend was uh, pretty chill, honestly. Uh, just doing work, working, and uh, hanging out on VR chat with the boys. So it's been pretty good. Ah, I can't push this. I have a feeling I can push this as soon as there's a block above it. Bingo. Oh, just coins. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, no. Uh, I haven't really played too much. I've been playing on a friend's modded Minecraft server, which has been very fun. Um, it's a pretty small amount of mods, but it's like it's like a comfy amount of mods, you know. I've never been a big fan of like the mod packs where it's like, oh, a hundred mods, and it's just because I just I just get overwhelmed at that point. I'm just like, I don't know. <gasps> Especially because there's a lot of the time there's not a reason to have a hundred plus mods because you just won't end up interacting with like fifty percent of them. I actually don't know what I meant. To do. I'm assuming I'm gonna do a triple jump here. Uh! One, two, three. Out. No. Oh wait, I could just push the box. Oh, I physically can't push the box because I've pushed it all the way against the wall. Whoops. Ooh, that guy shovels you. Uh, I'm assuming I just need to get to, like, the top of the area. So I need to get up here somehow. Whoa, 
that was a mistake. Ow, that actually really hurt. Okay, and then can I just do a backflip here? Oh, I can. Okay, and then we just need to go up to the edge, turn around, backflip. And then down here. Drop off. What's this? Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in the course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five numbers, a secret star will show up. Interesting. Okay, that rings up. Oh, hello, that's a a big bob on. Are you angry? I feel like you're angry. I just killed that thing, whatever it was. <laughs> There's a weird floating platform. Ow! At least it doesn't, like, knock you back. It just stuns you. Wow, that was perfect timing. Oh, that is so tempting to go grab those extra lives, but I need to go this way, I think. Ooh. I don't even know if this is the correct star. I just kept going up because that just seemed like the standard path. A lot of levels have the just get to the top of the level and get a star. No, that's top of the town. That's not what I went to do. Well, it's something I could have done, but not what I needed to. Shocking arrow lifts. I'm... Do I need to go? I mean, there are like arrows. So maybe I just got to go to like some of these arrows? Go underwater. There we go. Is there fire underwater? No, I was about to say, if there's fire underwater, how would that even make sense? I'm guessing I gotta find a way to drop the water? That makes sense to me. Can I swim up into it? Because that would be like bombs in my head. Oh, it's something you gotta keep jumping into. Okay, never mind. God, the underwater controls are not very smooth, but. Ah, maybe if I punch this one here. Down there, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. There we go. That should drop the water. Yes. Now I should be able to access plenty of things. There we go. Tick, 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 tick. Bingo. Uh, I can probably push this out of the way now. I got a number two. There's also this brick here, which makes it. I still don't know how to jump out of the water. Oh, I think it might be like double tap or something. Uh, there's this thing over. Oh, wait, there's an even lower one. Uh, let's do this one then. What will this unlock then? Okay, so now everything is just flat. Oh, there's a tunnel down there. Maybe you need to go up to the top and then you drop down there. Okay, I'm going to try that in a moment. I just want to look around on the floor. Yahoo! Three. I don't know why I keep triggering. Whoa! There you go. I might be doing, like, secret things? Because it literally mentions something, is that when you go through circles, you might get, like, a number appearing with, like, a fucking red thing. And it's just like... Oh, there's literally nothing in there. 
Um, I guess let's just break all the blocks and then start heading up because I think I've done everything I can at this level. Can I lift these ones or are these too heavy? Oh, I can punch them at least. No, uh, yeah, let's start heading back up then. Just gotta figure out how to get back up. Gotta find out a way. Oh, wait, literally just a ledge here. Punch. Punchy, punchy. And then we need to go back up. Uh, I forget what the next one is exactly, but I know there is a water thing up here. Wait, can you, like, throw me up there, please? Thank you! Oh, that was not the correct place. Whoa, a lot of fire! Where's the next... Oh, it's up the ramp, isn't it? It's either up the ramp or it's somewhere else. Oh, well, that actually helps me get all the way up here. Oh, sugar. That way. Up. On, on. Right to ledge. Flick around. Backflip. And down here. Whoa. Higher. I'm just going to try and bring the water up as high as possible, and then we should be able to jump off. Oh, thank God Mario gets back up. Right, I'm going to try jumping through here. Wow, I managed to completely whiff that, like, entirely. Oh, wait, there's a little thing here. my head on it. Nope. I guess. No, I've hit this before. Oh, wait. There's actually one right there as well. There we go. Oh, wait. That's a different one as well. That isn't the same. What's this one? Is that the correct one? Oh, that is shocking arrow lifts. Yeah, okay. So that was the one for getting to the top. Got ya. <laughs> Secret in the shallows and sky. Okay, right. I think this one must be... This one's the one where you've got to, like, hit all of the buttons. So you got to, like, trigger all of, like, the things. So I'm going to just try and do that quickly. So let's uh, do this, because that will allow us to do all the ones on the floor. Whoa! Then we gotta do this. So that gets you one. Two is there. I think it was five you needed. Then that's another one. That's three. Uh, I think those are all the ones I know of. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's just going to be full damage. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know I could do this, but... That's convenient. Throw me up. Oh, wait, no, no, get me over here. Come on, over here. Yo! Turn around. Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, well, that wasn't going to work, was it? Let's just go do the uh, water then. Nice. <laughs> okay, notice how that corner teleports you up to the top in case I ever need it. Whoa! Right, to the top of the world. Let's 
It's good that breathing air just instantly resets you. <laughs> I forget if this one did anything, but I'm going to push this block either way. What if I push it in the other direction now? I feel like I can still hit that from here, actually. Bingo. What if I push it in this direction? It just means I can do a backflip instead. Uh, I didn't. I haven't. Oh, God. Okay, and then let's set the lift really high. Because it was... Sometimes you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point of coins, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, that's it, yeah. Go through a ring of coins or... It's basically just if you do something in the level, of a thing will appear. I wonder if this guy creates one. No, I don't think so. I just gotta make sure not to grab a different star while I'm here. Because there's a question mark block right here, which I'm interested in. Okay, yeah, there's another. Mystery of wet and dry, where does the solution lie? The city welcomes visitors and death. Yeah, so that's, that's gonna be to get to the underground area. Oh, there are some stuff over here. It's like some floating bricks. I don't know what those are about. Um, there's a star in there, which I'm assuming you have to try and get up and in. I don't even know if there is like a question mark block that goes higher. I don't know how you'd get there. What are these blocks about here though? Can I like push them? What if I... S I'm guessing maybe if I stood on them they'd start moving or something, but I can't stand on them. I need to find a way to set the water height to like that high. Job, Mario. Just go around the thing I'm trying to go up. Okay, so. Can't see any things that would set it any lower. That's something got revealed by the platform. Ah, you bastard. Oh, wait, I literally can't take... Oh, wait, there is a question mark thing here. Can I, like, dive onto it? Or, like, hit it? No, I have to figure out a way to set the water to, like, that height there. Unless I set it to, like, the medium height again, and then just, like, do some stuff. Like, if I set it to, like, this height, then I can still explore, like, the top area. Because I can still get over there, yeah, quite easily. Oh, I didn't actually try bumping my head on this question block, actually. I don't know if this will trigger anything. Oh, I whiffed it entirely. <laughs> I need to go down and then go up more deliberately. And then turn around and then go, like, straight up. Nope, that did not do anything. Uh, I need to just do it better, <laughs> honestly. Can I just, like, hit it? <laughs> I just keep swimming through it. done this before. Mm. 
No, I just keep merging through it. Um, I need to set my height to lower again. I don't even know where what would be. I guess that one would technically be lower. And I can jump up and everything. Yeah, I probably would just do that one. Oh, my height. I've lost it. Over here. God damn it, Mario. No, that just gives you coins. Okay. Ooh. I can set it to this height, and then where do we go from here? Oh, wait, I can go over here now and just see what those uh, moving platforms are about. Or I can just sail past them, because I'm a dumb dumb. Rotate around, slowly, and then go up. Uh, I, no, I can't even go anywhere from here. What do these do? Oh, they just move in the direction you're standing. <gasps> okay, right. I see what those do, but I, they're not very useful because they just let me get the star that I already have. Right. There's a button up here, though, that I'm interested in. What the fuck? Why? Mario, stop. There we go. Oh, this is for... Oh, my God. Mario, you fucking dumbass. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for it. Aha! Bingo. Bingo. Okay, that's exactly what I needed right there. Here we go! Is that the correct one? Yes! Express elevator, hurry up. Do I just need to go like fast? Go. Just go fast. Just go really fast. Speed around the level. <sighs> Fuck, I'm not even close enough to do that. Alright, there we go. We should be good. Turn around. That works. Go up here. Go up here. Set the water to correct. Don't think there is any other physical waters we can do. No, because we got that star that's in there. Oh, that's an interesting thing. There's like a platform there, but I wonder if I can just. There's definitely no way to increase the water beyond this, unless... Oh, I could totally cannon in there. I might be able to cannon my way. Maybe, yeah. It's actually, it's probably worth just unlocking the bob bomb for now. Oh, no! Oh, well. Oh, that literally did nothing. Oh, I'm getting fucking looped! Oh, wow. <laughs> I literally couldn't do anything. I got fucking looped. Wow. Good job, Mario. You tried your best. Wow. Good job, Mario. You got stuck under the platform. <laughs> uh, 
Oh no, don't get stuck again. Uh, what if I just did like a bit of a... Whoop. Oh, wait, shit. Never mind, come on. Camera? Thank you. <laughs> to be fair, I could probably just do one of those jumps. Alright, I've got to try and figure out how to get to the bob -omb. To be fair, it doesn't really matter if I take damage here. At most, I'll take two damage, which doesn't do anything. Right now, how do I get to the bob -omb guy? Because that's the one at the top of the tower. I need to go... Technically, I need to go over there. That platform... I feel like that platform should be able to be... Oh, maybe if I, like, stand on it, it'll lower it. Oh, wait, I might have figured something out here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might be able to, like, lower it? Wait, no, no, okay, I've got something here. I think this one might be this one here. Because I destroy this, right? This allows me to go in here. And I'm assuming if I stand on the lift at the top, it will come down. Uh, now I just gotta get back up. <laughs> Still unlock the cannon for this level because I've forgotten where the bob -omb guy is. Pink bob -omb. Yeah, because the lift hasn't like gone down, but I'm assuming if I stand on it, it will. Camera? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Cam camera? Mario, are you actually gonna like do your job? There you go. You literally missed a jump, man. I'm at good pace here. Wow, that actually worked. And we go spin, spin, spin. Okay, how do I get over to there easier? I mean, I could probably make this jump, honestly, if I just do like a... Oh, okay, and then here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no! Oh, so you have to, like, go all the way down. I see. Okay, so you've really got to, like, set it all the way down. Okay, so you got to make sure this is on the bottom layer before you do anything. I think that is, that is still very doable. Uh, I've just got to figure out how to get back up now. <laughs> Uh, I think if I do some, if Mario's camera rotates, please. <laughs> oh, I know a way up this top. <laughs> there we go. Okay, from here, surely, okay, yeah, that platform over there, but I just want to, like, see if I can make, like, a long jump anywhere. No, that just leads me back there. Hmm.
No, I don't. Oh, I don't want that. I really don't actually want that because that means I can't actually access the area anymore. I guess I could technically step in it and then just swim up to it by going down. But I feel like this just makes more sense in my brain. Wait, I can get the guy to throw me up, right? Yeah, wait, hold on. If I get him like right over here and then I rotate him around. Yes, yeah? Come on, throw me up, throw me up. Oh, well it doesn't matter because at this point I can just platform up. Wait, no, I can't. I need to send... He needs to send me up. Over here, mate. Over here. Right over here. Come on. I see you're standing. There we go. And then that. Yeah! And off again. Let's go! That literally did nothing. Uh, let me heal up. Oh, wait, no. That's coined up here. Oh, wait, no. I am. I'd better use these coins. In case I get thrown off by the big bob bomb. Because now I can just like go down, enter, and then go back up. <laughs> oh, wait. Nope. Mario. Go down. Yeah, push it. Then over here. This, pro this might not even be the correct way you're meant to do this. It's just... It just seems like it could work. And that's what's good about games like this, is they're very open-ended as to what you can do. You can find your own solution to stuff. It's probably why this game is so speedrun heavy. It's also probably because this game's very buggy, which is probably why. Yeah, it's, it's, this is definitely one of those games where I'm just like, people are like, oh, I can't believe Games these days are so buggy compared to games in the past. Because games in the past are like, no, have you played any retro games? They're fucking buggy as shit. Pull back. And then... Go down. All the way to the bottom. Oh, you just don't go to the bottom. Uh, I don't know if I have enough time to run in here and then get in. Oh, yeah, no. So this is definitely a thing where you need to, like, lower it and then swim back into it. Oh, wait. I could have just done this and then get ready. Woo! Gaming. <laughs> that was very close there. <laughs> okay, I don't even know if that's what you're meant to do, but hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> And the last one's probably going to be, like, underneath the area, where you need to, like, use the cannon to get into the, like, tube to get underneath. Go to town for red coins. Yes! We actually need to, like, go to the town by first getting... Up there somehow. I assume if I just raise the water to the max level... We might be able to do something with that. So let's, let's raise the water up first. Oh fuck. No, this way. This way into that. Whoop. And then this way into that. Whoa! Go. Grab that. Then we gotta figure out how to get over to Bob on bitch. Whoop. <gasps> Bruh. I mean, this is fine because I can still. Okay, wait. Hmm. I don't even know what you're meant to do to get over there. I mean, I've tried like long jumping from places. Because there is like this platform here, which I feel like should be able to go higher. 
but this platform physically doesn't go any higher. Yeah, like, I can't do that. There has to be a way to get higher, then. Because, like, that won't help me get over here. That tunnel won't help me get over here. I can't just go over there. Hmm. I feel like there has to be some way to raise the water even higher, but I just can't figure it out. There must be something I'm missing, quite obviously. Because I could go through that tunnel, but I don't know if that tunnel will do anything. Unless I try just, like, genuinely just, like, doing... No, I can't. You physically can't me. Hmm. Whoa! Let's just try going for that one-up tunnel and see what actually, like, happens. Because who knows, maybe something magical can happen. Uh, oh yeah, I just do a bit of a bit of that. And a uh, bit of that. Bit of that. Now Mario, don't jump off this time. There we go. Through the tunnel, literally doesn't do anything. I don't think if I grabbed anything, it, anything would have actually happened. Hmm. Like, I don't even think that jump would help here. Like, the reverse jump. Ooh, hold the fuck on. We might have gained something there. Slowly. <laughs> Okay, okay. Get right to the edge. Turn around. Camera. Nope. Oh, fuck. Oh, I had something there. I, it's probably not what you're meant to do, but I had something there, potentially. Camera. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta brute force it, you know? Bruh. Mario, can you stop slipping off the platform, please? Nope. I don't know how I did it that one time. That worked, like, way too well. Oh, too fast. Okay, that one I could have done it if I timed it well, I reckon. Yeah, you need to be right at the ledge and you can, like, jump up there. You gotta get the, like... It's so hard to do sometimes, because Mario just doesn't want to fucking work. Ah! This definitely isn't what you're meant to do, but I just feel like this might work. Oh, you okay? No, yeah, I don't think you can actually jump back up onto it. I don't know if a kick will work. No, a kick definitely wouldn't work because I'd have to jump higher anyway. Okay, no, so there's definitely some other way to get up there. I'm just gonna try and go to the top and see if I can do a long jump, honestly. Yeah. 
Let's just see if I can, like, somehow figure out a fucking long jump from... Holy shit, I am going way too fast. Like, is there a way... No, I definitely can't do it there. Okay, so... Is there a, a way I can long jump from up here? Is there a way I could go this way from here, though? Ah, I can't even make that jump. I wonder if I could do it from there, though. Because this is the obvious path where you would go. Because, like, this leads... Mario, can you... There you go. Like, that leads there. You can't, like, jump on this bit of the wall because it slides you off. Oh, wow, it really slides you off. It's just a random platform over here, though, which I... Well, no, because that's technically part of that lower bit there. Really don't see anything else which would be useful here. I mean, there is that one block you can like push through at the bottom, but that just gives you a point. So I actually have no clue. I'm just gonna try and get this bob bomb thing going. Because if I can get the bob bomb, then you know, that's a cannon, which means I could just fire myself into it. Like, just repeat. I definitely can't make this jump at all. No fucking way. Oh, fuck me. I've just got to wait for it to come back up. Up we go. There we go. This just gives you a point. Can I, from up here, get over there? Absolutely not. Or oh, especially if I fuck up the jump immediately. Twice in a row. Oh, I felt like that was so... I mean, there's no way I can make that because that was like a full-on jump and it didn't get anywhere. So no, there's definitely a way to raise the water higher. But I have no clue how because there's no extra like diamonds that you can use. I've got no clue. How do I do this? <laughs> I don't remember what this level is called. I bet if I do Super Mario 64, how to raise water higher, it will definitely have... Yes! Oh! I see! So that's what you need to do. Yes, okay. So this one has a different... Okay, exit course. Okay, so that level has a thing where you've got to enter the painting as high as possible to get, well, higher up in the course. So I've got to try and get right in the top of the painting. Probably with a triple jump, I'd imagine. Uh, you could probably triple jump as long as you get the camera. I mean, you definitely can't get the camera correct. Camera controls in this game are so bad. There we go. One. Oh, wait, that would probably work in, in general. But one, two, three. I don't know if I got very high. I think I got decently high. Nope, that is not high enough. <laughs> I think, honestly, just doing the reverse jump is probably my best bet. Like, 
Like, if I just do a bit of a, uh... Oh, no, that was way too low. I really, I need to be right next to it if I want to get any height out of it. Yeah, that was... Look how low that is. Okay, next attempt. Right, let's stand next to it and do it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that was not high enough, I don't feel. I actually don't know. Nope, not high enough. Yeah, I think triple jump is the only way you're getting that high. You just gotta get a good triple jump sort of thing. So, what if I go from the portal and triple jump? hit the top frame here okay good so from here ish no way that was gonna get anywhere near it then rotate around there we go Oh, that might have actually made it if I actually committed, but I didn't feel confident in it. What if I just go like this? Oh my god, I keep hitting the top, but it's just not counting. Jesus. No, that definitely wouldn't have made it. I've just got to like, go of my gut and just like hope. Like, there-ish. Wow, that was completely off kilter just because of the fact that God, the camera is so bad in this game. There we go. No, not like that. There we go. No. Oh my God, it's so fucking dog shit. Oh, I so died right at the top of the painting, and it's just not working because it's like that doesn't count as the painting. That stat should have worked. <laughs> Oh my god, I keep hitting like right near the top, but it's just like, no, that doesn't count. That's too high. That would that one no, that that's bullshit. That one should have counted. Like actually that one was bullshit. What do you these count? I'm going as high as possible and it's just like no. It's because I'm too good at doing the triple jump now. It's just like, no, you you gotta be less good. Oh my god, I'm surprised that one. I bounced off there. That, I don't even know what was going on there. It's because I wasn't confident of my distance, so I went to reset. Mario, can you like actually go into it? Where were you going, Mario? Where are you going? It's because the camera rotates and because of that your character rotates. No, nope, that was awful because I just jumped normally. Oh my god, that's so bad. There we go. Ooh. No, that was like right in the middle. That That's nowhere near that high enough. That was like right in the middle. That wasn't even the middle. Damn, that was low. Let me try to do a wall jump next to the painting just for like context of like how high the wall jump is. The like, the like flip jump. Because if I do it like next to the painting, 
Oh wait, I think the best way to do it is do this. No, it's like run up, turn around, do that. I mean, in theory, it should be good enough. Like, in theory, that should be good enough. That one was fairly high, but I don't think it was high enough because I need to, you need to be right at the tip top, I would imagine. Half of the stream is just going to be me trying to enter a painting correctly. <laughs> right, next attempt. I feel like because I'm too close, honestly. I feel like I need to be... Okay, that has got to be good height there. No, it's still not high enough. Okay, no, that that one was like normal height there. That, there's no way that's high enough. Yeah, no, it's way too low. Triple jump is the best bet, but I feel like this wall jump is just... It, that, I can do the wall jump to get in, because the wall jump can like hit the top of the painting. I've just got to like get a good angle. Because if I do it like over here... Like, yeah, if I do that well... I mean, actually, can it even hit that high? I actually don't think it can. Oh, yeah, that can, like, hit right there, which would be roughly... Oh, no, it definitely can't, actually. It has to be a triple jump. Damn. One, two, three. Nope. <laughs> hit the edge. One, two, three. Oh, that should have counted. That should have counted so fucking much. Ooh, maybe just a double jump, honestly. I might not even need a triple jump. What if I just do, like, one? No, that, that was too low, but the double jump might just be it. Yeah, I think the double jump might actually be it. Oh, one second, I've got some messages. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on. What if I just did like from here? That is not high enough. It looks like it ripples near the top, but that is not tall enough. God damn. Maybe there's like a different jump I can do. Wet dry world. Yes. Uh, wet dry world yeah how do you get really high how do you get really fucking high i want to like start like at full height i don't know what the max height is Oh, is that just the max height? But that's what I'm doing, though. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm doing that, and then it's not. Oh no, it is actually higher. Okay, never mind. I am stupid. That is actually high. Oh no, I was I was getting the higher one this entire time, but it just doesn't look very high. <laughs> I was getting the correct one, but I just. Let me just try my um, fucking hip skip and a jump then. Apparently that is just... That might just be the high one right there. Yeah, this is the highest, apparently. Oh yeah, because that looks very... Okay. And now I can actually grab the bob on because there should be a platform right next to it. I was getting the highest, it seems. It's just 
doesn't seem very high. <laughs> I thought it would need to be like right up at the lip, but I guess that doesn't make sense. Uh, how do I get? Up? Oh wait, can I just like swim up over there now? Time to go to the town. Right, can I just do that? Yes, I can. Just don't fucking drown. Here I am in the town. Ah, oh, bingo. Right, okay. Right, we found the town. Time to start collecting red coins. They might just be in, like, the bricks, to be fair. So maybe I have to, like, go around destroying all the bricks. That's Metal Mario there, I know that. Wow, good job, Mario. Can you just, like, swim to the edge and climb up, please? Good job, Mario. Can you just swim up to the edge and, like, climb on? Because you literally should be able to walk onto that. Thank you, Mario. Can you, like, climb... <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Oh, my God, Mario is so dumb. Oh, go up. There you go. Right, time to figure out how to lower the water here. Can you, like, go under the water, please? Thank you. Uh, I can apparently slide in there, but that's not the star I want. Oh, there's a red coin there. There's a... Oh, there's a red coin in... Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing they're gonna be, like, mostly in the bricks. So I've just gotta figure out how to, uh, actually lower the water for... Breathe, and down we go. That's actually in a brick, isn't it? Oh no, that one's just there. Good. Where's the center? Is any help? Oh, it's just a brick there. Can I enter the building to even know the water's up? Aha! Found you in the back corner. Just wait here. Hopefully, don't drown. Bingo! We can do this now. Which way? Where? The clock's ticking, but I don't know what it's ticking for. I have no clue what that one was doing. Whoa! That's just me being dumb right there. Right, what does this actually do? In the house. No. I don't know what that does. It does something, surely. No! You bastard, don't you? It's gone. <laughs> it just vanished. What? Ooh! Ooh. Up. No, Mario. Wait, can I do a bit of a cheeky? Can I do a bit of a cheeky? Hey.
Alright, Mario, just jump straight up. Thank you. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work, but I can do this. Gently. Or not. That works better, actually. Whoa. Nah. Oh, I tried to do a fucking uh, long jump. Turn around. Uh, how do I get on this roof? Uh, honestly, yeah, no, that just seems like my best bet right there. Nope, that's the wrong jump. Nope, that is the wrong thing again. How do I do the long jump? Okay, that's how I do it. You gotta do it. Tap them just very fast. Oh, that worked. I'm just going to assume I'm doing everything wrong, but I, at least it's working. That's my strategy in these sorts of games. It's just You may be doing everything wrong, but if it's working, it can't be wrong. Maybe this is just for, like, the top of the buildings. Oh, wow. You just slip and slide off that one. Oh, you can't stand on that one. Okay, got you. I don't know if that does anything. see how I'm meant to get anywhere up there. I mean, that button surely does something. Like, surely it can't just, like, be funny. There's something on top of this. Oh, there's a question mark block above it, I think. Found ya. <laughs> Uh, I actually have no clue what this block does. I keep hitting it and then nothing happens. There's death nothing over here. It gives you a long timer, so it must be something important. Maybe it makes it so that, like, this thing over here is reversed? No. What if I try and do that? Hold on, let me try that. Right, let me try something funny. Okay, and we look from up here. I just realized I think I know where I need to go. Up here. Not down here. Yeah, bingo. Thank you, game. Oh, thank you, Mario. Okay, so this is how I raise the water level back up. So I've got to figure out something to do with the water level being higher. 
Because I can't, like, destroy these big blocks when the water's up. To be fair, I could probably just go up there and then jump down if I really wanted to get anything. Honestly, yeah. I could probably just go up there and then just, like, jump down to get all of these things. That could just be what I need to do, is just go up there and then go around destroying each of the blocks. Because they're all very accessible once you're up there. Yeah, no, let's just do that. That seems way easier. I guess in theory you could probably try and swim fast enough. Here. Jump onto that. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Jump back. Don't go off the edge. And then I guess we just go for each one. Oh, okay, no. I, de I definitely need to do like a long jump for that. I didn't know if I would hit the roof though. Wow, thank you, man. Mario fucking full sent it there. Didn't even, like, even try to stop himself. Just fucking went, if I'm dying, it's this way. Can I just, like, backflip up here? Oh, I can. Because you can't just go onto the wall because Mario just bounces back down, which is just stupid why that's even a thing. You have to, like, line it up perfectly with the bridge or else Mario just flings himself off. Right. Let's try and make... Like, these houses over here, I feel like I can make it to. Oh, no! Oh, Jesus Christ, there's nearly a death there. Uh, I should probably find some coins. <laughs> Ah, all the coins are gone because I got rid of it. Okay, yeah, I should definitely activate the water just to, if anything, just to heal. Maybe I gotta try swimming up fast enough then. What? Right, don't fling yourself up. Wait, how far high can I go? Okay, I can go very high. Right, perfectly line up. You want the camera to be in the bridge. Right, let's do this. So that I can cheat. Might just be a matter of just trying to swim up as fast as possible while the water's rising. Ah, cheating. Right, I'm going to just try and do that then. I'm just going to see how fast I can swim up while the water's still going. So if I get in a good position, I can go straight. Go. No, you cannot make it. Unfortunately. Oh, thank you. Wait, can I just kill these guys by like stomping on them? camera. Right. No long jump. Just a jump. Oh, if I dive there. Oh, if I dived. Oh, if I dived. That. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that again. That might... Can I just kill these things? Yes, I can. Thank Christ. Killing you as well. Just kill those fuckers. Oh. 
thank you. God, this game is so jank. Right, and now... One, two... There! No, okay. Uh, there's definitely got to be somewhere else of getting up here. Because it can't just be, like, jumping. Can't be swimming, because you can't break the blocks while you're jumping. I feel like this way might be a way up to this one. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. Ugh! Where is Mario? Can I go that way? Well, I managed to go the set wrong way twice. Maybe. Aha! Okay, I got a way up here. Now, the only way I can think of getting over to those rooftops over there is the button, like, unlocking the ability to do it. It's like, if I step on the button, maybe it creates, like, a path up? literally doesn't do anything. What does the button even do? Does it open up the cage to the other area? Wet and dry land red coins. <laughs> yeah, if you can grab that one. You need Metal Mario to do it. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Gotcha! Okay, there's something I didn't know there. Let's have a try about this then. So apparently if you wall jump while holding the or holding the button down, you get extra height. Aha! Okay, that's how you're meant to do it. And then... Gotta hope I can pull off a long jump with no camera. Oh my god, we did it! After 25 million years, we did it! <laughs> Here we go! Oh my god, that was painful. But now I've got to figure out how to get under in that little area. Because I never want to return to this level. So we're just going to do it now. <laughs> Quick race through downtown. Yeah, so that's definitely going to be where you need to like push the button. I need to exit the course because I didn't get high enough. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the first time I entered the level it was high enough. There we go. Cool. 
Right, got yeah. So this one's gonna be, I imagine, just you have to like run through all of the city, get to like the cage area, and then go into it. That is way faster doing the. I'm good. I still haven't locked any of the power ups, I just realized that. I've got to figure out where those are. I think they're somewhere in the castle or something. I should go explore the castle and just see what I can find. I remember exploring the castle on the N64 version and just finding like random stuff. Okay, right, so now we gotta do a race. So basically, I'm just assuming I gotta get to the other side. So let's go. Uh, do I need to like reset the water? Ah, it does create a block in there. Don't let you know if I can enter in here. No, probably Mario, because you turn around. Yeah, because I don't see a way to enter, but there is like a... The whole timer thing makes me feel like, oh my god. I mean, there's the blue block. I don't know if I need to like hit the blue block, though. I don't know if I need to be able to hit the blue block. Oh wow, it's the person doing this. So yeah, you, you click the button and then you, you go nyom, nyom, nyom. Ah, you have to hit the blue block though. You have to hit the blue block. Yeah, okay, so you have to hit the blue block. Gotcha. I don't even know how to unlock the fucking things. Okay, so let's explore the outside of the castle, because I've got some stuff I need to unlock, I feel. That is just, like, hidden in the castle. So let's go down here into the water area. So there's a door down here, which I think I can access once I drop the water. I think on the other side I can do that. In the... 3DS version, you could actually play like a multiplayer mode and there'd be a chain chomp over here, which is cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's something. Oh, there's a grate over here. What is this? Swim lessons. Tap A to the breast Yeah, because as you can see, this place is meant to be like that. So I'm assuming I can find a way to unlock the grate. Wasn't there something on the other side, if I remember correctly? Yes, there was a grate there as well. I just forget how you're meant to unlock it. It must be somewhere in the castle you unlock it. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see if we can get back into the actual castle. I am definitely not doing wet dry world currently game. Let's try and get back in the castle. 
and see how that goes. Let's try and like actually explore the castle rather than just trying to go levels. So let's go downstairs because logically that's where, you know, you feel like you would unlock water stuff. Because this is the courtyard with the booze. If you stop, press E to crouch and jump. Oh, that teaches you, like, the other mechanic. I don't think killing all the boots is any benefit. Wait, however, they did tell me to Z jump here, so maybe... No, it definitely isn't for that. But there, there has to be something around here where you benefit from doing a back jump. Fuck. <laughs> if you jump repeat the entire... Yeah, yeah, it's a triple jump and then a wall kick. Wall kick in quotation marks. There we go. Don't know if there's anything to gain from killing all the boos. Yeah, that just teaches you how to kill them. Can I flip myself over the wall? Wrong way. No, there is an invisible wall. Good to know. No, there's nothing there. Okay, right. There doesn't seem to be anything here except for the level. Downstairs even further though is the like water area with the Bowser's thing. Oh wait, can I go up here yet? Oh, I made it. Where does this go? Oh, there's a thing here that says something. It is decreed one shall pa- Oh, okay, so I need to fucking sink them. Mm -hmm. Ah, I flooded all the water now. And then there was a door over here. Ooh. I think I just went to a place which is completely useless. In fact, I might be stuck now. Oh, I know, because there is a grate here that I might be able to get into. No, you don't actually go anywhere. That's useless. This great here, however. Welcome to the Vanish Cap Switch course. Ah, so this these are the courses that teach you the different mechanics. Oh wow, I actually fucked it up immediately. Let's see. Okay, that's funny. Okay, right. So these are the switch, the cap switch courses. Got yeah. I need to do each of these then to unlock all the things. 
Right, I need to go down the middle where this is. That that leads down to one of the platforms. And then there's another one down here. Which gives me an extra life. Good to know. There's a red coin in the middle as well. need to do a gentle hop. Gentle hop. Gentle hop. God, this one is painful. Holy sh- Oh my god. Fuck off. Oh my god. Fuck off if you think you- Oh my god. Precision platforming with these controls. Jesus Christ. There's one, there's, there's a red coin over here, right? There's two red coins right there next to each other. Got ya. Oh my god, I forgot I have to get these red coins again. Holy fuck. Where am I going? Up it! Oh, so that gives me the ability to vanish cap. Very useful. I can definitely do that one, but Jesus Christ, you have to like get lucky straight away. Okay, let's go, let's go do, in theory, the other ones, which should also be unlocked, the uh, Metal Mario one. Nope, it would help if I did that. Go make sure you hit crouch before you hit jump. Okay, so this one still isn't unlocked. But I don't need that one yet. But I can unlock it because the uh, other person had it unlocked. So maybe I can get that from upstairs, perhaps? Was there anything sneaky upstairs would be a good idea to check. Go look for a secret path upstairs. Because there are, of course, two more hat blocks I need, which is one is red, which is for the cat. And then green is four. What's this? One? This one is a big version, and the big version, and then there's like the small version. Yeah, it's the different like sizes of the map. Um. Thanks to the power stars, I've turned. Let me tell you something about the castle. You've looked in the mirror carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. Yes, that, that's, oh, a uh, free star. Thank you, Toad. Here we go. Free star, yes. <laughs> yes, you need a hundred coins to get that. 
Uh, what's in here? This is the mirror level, yeah. Okay, what about up the... Up the stairs, I would presume, is... Oh, sorry. I don't think that actually means anything, though. Okay, this way is Bowser Door, which I need 50 coins for. I guess I could go do, like, the big levels, but... Oh, wait, was there a door there? No. I'm feeling that I'm missing something, though. Hmm. Let me try the mirror room. Can I, like, ground pound these things? No. Yeah, so I can go back here. I don't actually know if I... Can I do anything else here? Or is there... Well, from the freezing pond... Well, from the freezing pond. I mean, I know what that is, but I don't know what I can do there. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Wait, can I... Oh, maybe it wants me to, like, freeze the water? What If I throw the ice bully in there, will it, like, freeze over? Oh, wait, but no, there's an ice pond here. What if I lure the friend over here? Like, what if I lure him over here? Yeah, oh! Wait, wait, I think I think I see what I might need to do. Maybe I need to, like, get onto the shy guy's head. Oh, shit. I, I went way too high. I'm just going to try and lure the thing over here and see what happens. Like, you, you, you. Yeah, you, you. Come over here. Can you even... You can step on the freezing pond, can't you? Yeah. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. You... Stupid bitch. Get on the pond. Can I, like, do anything? No, I didn't do anything there. I have no clue. Freezing pond. I did. I did. To be fair, that was more of a puddle, I guess. I don't think that necessarily counts as a pond. But oh wait, is there something up there? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Come over here. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, no, I have to go a longer way. All oh, that! Okay, to get over there, I see. Right, so it wants me to jump onto you. Nope. It wants me to reset my camera. And then jump onto you. Okay, no. <laughs> Oh, 
Can I even jump onto that guy from here? Maybe. Oh, wait, yeah. If I just lure this enemy, like, if I just lure this enemy over here, but if I, if Mario can, like, actually move. I think I can make that. If I do a long jump, I might be able to, ow, I'm going to die here, but fuck it. We game. Nope. We game. Nope. We game. I don't care if I die here, honestly. Oh, well, I jumped on its head, and now it's dead. I don't think I can physically do the mission anymore. Unless I, like, bait you over. Come on. Oh, shit, I walked into you by accident. Come on. Over here. Nope, you gave up. Uh, I actually need to restart the course, then. Actually, it's probably better if I just die, honestly. <laughs> right, so I need to jump one of them, bounce flip up there. Mamma mia! Why can I do it until I actually, like, need to do it? Is this just... Crouch, then jump. That's all I need to remember is crouch, then jump. Crouch, then jump. Wow, I completely whiffed that entirely. Don't squish him. Ariel? Are you gonna, like, yeah, there you go. Go, 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 go. Bingo. What was I just gonna say? <laughs> Hop on the shiny shell and ride only once shred those enemies. True. Oh fuck, I actually went back over here. I think this is so I can grab all the red coins. Fucking killed my groove. Wow, I just got pushed in. Right, fuck this one right here. We end up in the water. Oh, no mind. Crouch jump. Whoa, I hit a force field. I think I hit the game designer's malice. <laughs> Crouch jump. Oh, wow, no. I definitely can't do it. Wait, unless... Nope. Nope, there you go. It's better that I drown, honestly. It's honestly way better that I just drown. Okay, I see what the game wants me to do now. Let's grab all the coins that are over here first without the shell, just so I don't waste the shell grabbing like the coins that I can just grab without it. Like, there's one. Uh, grab the one over in the big field. Wow, I managed to perfectly slide into that one enemy. Wow, thank you, game. What? Watch this, I'm going to get back up and then the enemy's just going to... It's 
gonna push me into the water. Well, it, it almost dropped me back in the water as I said it would. Holy shit, game! Mario, can you just like use your legs? It feels like Mario's shoes are like coated in butter in this game. He just, he doesn't know how to stop. Go, go, go. Thank you. What about this one? Oh, that is the star. Okay, so that one is the star. And then the other one is red coins. Last one is probably red coins then. Okay. Grab this one, and then we'll do red coins, and then that'll be good for that level. Besides the get 100 coins thing, which I'm not doing. Fuck that noise. Can I get a smooth run? Oh, that was so fucking smooth. Are you kidding me? I hope the shell fucking respawns, because that is like the most unlucky thing ever. I mean, to be fair, I could totally like suicide into the lava. Get up, Mario. Thank you. Oh wow, you can't just long jump unless you have momentum. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Swim, swim, swim. I don't even know if I can do this, but if I like do it here-ish. Oh, honestly, if I do it earlier, I might be able to pull it. You know what? Fuck it. Instead of risking. Mario, why'd you backwards jump? How did you backwards jump? I don't know how I did a standing backwards jump when there was nothing to bounce off of. Oh, it's you. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my camera would be so nice if Lakito wasn't in my fucking teeth 24-7. Right, we just gotta, like, go for the coin. Okay, we got one. Then the other one is underneath the platform. Which is going to be very risky to go for, but... Were you running? Uh, emulator. <gasps> I do have the official thing, but I don't have any, like, way to record it. And I'd prefer not to use the bloody N64 controller, because god, that thing is... <sighs> I mean, it works fine for what it is, but... Oh god, I'm gonna die here. I am so dead here. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not speed running. No, no way am I speed running. God, I could no way could I speed run this game. Absolutely not. <laughs> if you're if you're looking for speed runs, there's. Uh, a speedrun tag on Twitch, so you just look through there. <laughs> I could not imagine speedrunning this game. I could not imagine speedrunning any game, to be fair. That's just not my thing.
I cannot imagine burning hundreds of hours playing one game. Like, bro, just play other things. <laughs> But I, I respect the people who do speedrun. Especially like all the stuff that goes behind it, all the practice and stuff. Especially the glitch ones where the amount of like stuff behind. It's always funny with like glitch ones because like some rat. A lot of like speedrunning, especially like glitch ones, is like some random guy just playing the game will find this one like bug, and then like every speedrun in the world will like try and contact him. Cause it's like, oh my god, this this thing saves you ten seconds on this one bit. This is pretty easy to get to. I just died. I'm terrible, but it's pretty fun. That's fair. I just think I just there's I play so many games that I don't think I could dedicate time to learning to speedrun one. The only game I would attempt any sort of run with would just be Dark Souls, just because that is my favourite game. Yeah. <sighs> Dark Souls speed 3 speed run would definitely... I don't even think, though, if I were to do a challenge run of Dark Souls, I'd prefer to do, like, a no-death, no-hit run. I mean, I could easily do a no-death run with Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is my favorite. absolutely love that game. I've played that god knows how many times. I've done accidental no-death runs before. <laughs> Let's go for the big version. Dark Souls 2, I definitely couldn't do a no death run in just because, oh god, am I not good with the Dark Souls 2 levels. <laughs> Dark Souls 1, maybe? I know three best bosses in the series. Yeah, I love Dark Souls 3. I just enjoy Dark Souls 3 combat. I acknowledge that Dark Souls 3 definitely has the most linear design, but. God of the bosses in that game so fun. And the combat is just so smooth. I've been playing through the uh, Ashes, the Arch Thrones mod for Dark Souls 3 recently as well. And that's been very fun. Which I will be continuing next week. Uh, after, of course, the oh, Genshin update this week. Oh, that is a big cheap cheap. Is that cheap cheap? Oh, no, it's got glasses. I remember cheap cheaps having glasses, but I'm stupid. Goddamn shy guy. Oh, yeah. Gale is my favorite boss in the Soul series. So I 100% agree with that. Are you okay, Koopa? Oh. Oh, I tried to go for it. Get over it. Oh, you bastard. Oh, just hit the floor at full speed. Should I go around here? Might have better luck over here. I'm looking forward to Elden Ring DLC, though. Hopefully it's going to go out. I do like how they're introducing, like, um... Basically, like, a soft reset. So, it doesn't matter if you're overleveled, because they're basically introducing a new system to get stronger. Oh. I have no clue how I'm meant to get up there. Tinja. Oh, is it gonna make me fly up? Yeah, okay. Thought so. Yeah, should I have a tree? Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. The bosses look good. I'm really looking forward to it. And the DLCs of Souls games tend to be the best part, so it's probably going to be really good. So close as well. Finally. It was really... Oh. Ow. Ugh. Oh, I was going to try and make that jump, but that was... You cheeky little bugger. I'm sorry, I just got tiny version. 
Oh no, I, I am big Mario now. <laughs> Oops, not what I wanted to do. Ah, I got extra life. Oh, no, there I go. <laughs> Come on, let me up. Nope. I'm really looking forward to the newer, like, martial arts weapon set they're doing. Where it's, like, kicking and punching. God, am I looking forward to that, because I am a sucker for, like, kicking and punching. Oh, big plant! Oh, more big plant! Oh, I actually got one. I actually killed one by accident. What's over here? I'm going to just jump down here and see what happens. Oh. Oh, it's a clear! What if I go into the regular sized version? Oh, you, you can't. You can literally only enter the size version. Big mold. Wait, small mold, sorry. Small mold. Ooh. So if you go do a whole playthrough before DLC, that's fair. I have a save file uh, waiting for the DLC. Like it's a, it's it's a very solid level. I think it's like 180 to 200 soul level. So it's a it's a decent level. It's got all the gear I want, so I can jump straight into it. I've got tons of Elden Ring runs. I need to go back and finish. I just been playing so many other games. Lay. Well, I mean, it's it's what it, it, I'm smart. I planned ahead. I'm like, okay, this save file is for it. I want it when the DLC comes out. I'm just gonna play the DLC. I don't want to be like, oh, well, now I've got to play through the same 50 fucking hours I've experienced 20 times already. <laughs> I've played through um like the first half of Elden Ring. I think like seven times at this point. I already have the experience. <laughs> I've done a mage build, a sword and shield build, a full strength build, strength faith, dex build, arcane, and then I did a seamless co-op one. Um, I have my, I think I've had enough of a bloody Limgrave. <laughs> if I have to see Limgrave one more bloody time. <laughs> I say that, but I don't even know the maps but, like the back of my hand. But to be fair, subsequent playthroughs aren't even like... The best Elden Ring experience is definitely the first playthrough. Because after that, you sort of just know where everything is. And you're just like, okay, I just go here. And then I go here. And it's just like, oh, there you go. You like ignore 50% of the level. But not 50%, like 80% of the game. Which is a shame, but it's, it's just what's going to happen. Once you know what you're doing. It's like why um, with Elden Ring, with like New Game Plus, it becomes so like short. Like a New Game Plus run is probably only like six hours. Probably. Just because there's no way you gotta go at that point. But that first playthrough of Elden Ring is, oh my god. Also, I'd rather eat chalk than go through the like because for me Elden Ring I mean like a new game plus run is like six hours because you just go boss 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 beat the game because at new game plus you're just overpowered because you still gotta walk to everywhere you still gotta have the whole cutscenes and everything Yeah, it's just because you can just speed run to everywhere and you can basically New Game Plus is basically a speed run. The only slow bits are going to be uh, if you die, like the only slow bits will probably be like the later bosses because the later bosses will at least be decently scaled. Oh, 
only surprised that, uh, to be fair, it might even take longer. It might... I literally just spawned in and got knocked off. Mogo took me around four hours. <laughs> oh, that, to be fair, Elden Ring is a really good starting one. Um, the boss that took me the longest was probably... I'd say Radagon, probably? Radagon took the most attempts. Or, um, Mo. Radagon or Mo probably took me the longest in Elden Ring. Radagon took me about an hour. Well, it took me, yeah, I think over an hour. And Mo took me, uh... Mo probably took me longer, I want to say. Uh, Lord of Blood, Mo. Fire Giant abused me for sure. I, 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 for me, I think I just got like really lucky with my his attack pattern because I didn't have any trouble with Fire Giant. I think I got him second try. Just, I think I just got really lucky with his move set because he just sort of didn't do anything. <laughs> I just kept hitting him in the leg and then he died. <laughs> I just got very lucky. The one boss I definitely did cheese was Melania because that's when... I, I didn't know how strong the Mimic Summon was because I, I didn't use Summon for any bosses but I kept seeing the stuff about the Mimic tier being like Redixie overpowered so I was just like, on stream. I think, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did it on stream. So I was just like, oh, I'm going to try the Mimic tier because people keep saying this thing's like ridiculously strong. And then I just watched and I was like, okay, yeah, I see why people say it's strong because it just killed Melania. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't use Mimic tier for... The only bosses I used Mimic tier for were the duo bosses because there is not a single good duo boss in Elden Ring. I don't know how they went down so far because Dark Souls 3's Twin Princes... Uh, not Twin Princes, the... um. Demon Princes, that was a great duo boss. And Dark Souls 1 had Ornstein and Small, that was a great duo boss. Like, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3 had such, such good duo bosses. But for some reason, Elden Ring just couldn't figure them out. Maybe the DLC will fix that. put an hour into my head and summon a random player. I'm honestly, I don't blame you. Melania, I definitely want to go back on my strength playthrough and uh, beat Melania like full old solo, but yeah, no, Melania, I can understand that. Melania can be quite a, just an infuriating boss. It's like if anyone summons on like the Godskin duos, I'm like, yeah, that absolutely. Like, do it. The Godskin duo is probably the worst fight. I, I beat it first try because I just immediately summoned a Mimic tier and just killed it because I'm like, yeah, I ain't, fi I ain't fighting this. This is stupid. <laughs> There was just no thought. That, that's the thing about Elden Ring. I think with me with Elden Ring, the first like half of the game, like the first, like all the way up until the capital, the capital included, the game's like a fucking nine out, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Like it's fucking incredible. But then as soon as you hit the like last bit, it just falls off. It just really sadly just falls off for me personally. As soon as I get to the bloody s consecrated snowfields, I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I don't want to play. <laughs> but until then... But that first half of the game is... Oh my god, it's so good. What's the boss here? Uh, the painting duo, the duo boss with the guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Freed and Ariandel. That one was actually that one was decent enough because you could just if you had a heavy weapon like I pretty much always do in Souls games, you can just you can just stagger Freed so she just doesn't do anything. <laughs> that one was an okay duo fight because. A lot of the time, the other half just didn't do anything. 
Like, R and Del would be like sitting in his chair. Oh no, you cheeky bugger. R and Del would just be like sitting in his chair, just not doing anything. <laughs> No, it's, it's not Arendelle. What the fuck was his name? It was Father... Oh my god, I do not... I forget what his name was. It's Freed and something else, but... He just sort of... He just sort of, like, walked around. Threw up some fire here and there. So, the thing is with Freed, a lot of people... It's a very polarizing boss. On my first time I fought Freed, I beat it second try. Because, again, I had a heavy weapon. And you can... With a heavy weapon, I had a plus 10 heavy Exile Greatsword, which is like one of the... I didn't know it at the time. I just really like the sword, but it's like one of the highest damaging weapons in the game. So I just absolutely chewed through Freed in like minutes. The first phase basically didn't exist. <laughs> and the second phase, I just kept hitting Freed and just sort of let the big guy just sort of walk about. The last phase is very painful because the black flame just goes everywhere. But I think I just managed to get through it because I had enough um, Estuses left by the time I got to that um, boss. But god, I, the godskin duo was just awful. <laughs> Because the, the whole point of the Godskin Duos is it's meant to be like Small and Ornstein, where you have the slow guy and the fast guy, but instead you actually have the fast guy and the even faster guy. Because <laughs> Godskin Noble, I think, is faster than Godskin um, Apostle. Like, his attacks are just way faster, so it just doesn't work. And they're both, like, constantly aggressive as well, which just Oh, it makes it painful. Oh my god, I did the same thing twice. I'm literally the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over. I hate the boss so much I quit. Only just to the damn boss. The god team was annoying, but not as bad as Freed. I definitely think the god skin duo is worse. But to be fair, everyone has different experiences with bosses. Like, uh, my friend, for some reason, had massive trouble with just Ocelot from Dark Souls 3, even though Ocelot isn't that bad of a boss. And they beat other bosses, like Pontiff and the Princes and the Soul of Cinder, but for some reason, they just couldn't handle Ocelot. <gasps> the Consumed King. Osiris, not Ocelot. Ocelot was a kid. Osiris, the Consumed King. Yeah, I mean, um, Osiris is an easy boss, but there's everyone just has that one boss which isn't hard, but you some reason struggle on. Well, I guess for me, it would be Pontiff, who is a hard boss, but not, like, super-duper hard. Like, I struggle with Pontiff quite a lot. I can still beat him first try, but he's a boss I don't like fighting. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, don't go off. Some bosses you just get and some you don't. Oh, for me, for me, that's definitely Nameless King. Nameless King is the one boss that, like, is... I mean, again, Nameless King is a hard boss, but I just couldn't get the Nameless King for the longest time until I figured out the strat, which is just, if you stay at mid-range... What are you doing, camera? If you stay at mid-range against the Nameless King, he just doesn't do anything. <laughs> Like, if you just keep baiting him to come to you, the Nameless King just dies. But until then, I just couldn't. Oh, I should have really gone for a better jump than that. I should have really tried something better than that. I've still got to do the plaque the piranha plant, which I'm assuming is just kill the piranha plant. Yahoo! 
but I'm really determined to get these red coins. <laughs> I know where they are, and I'm just determined to go for them now. I don't know if Oh, for me, actually, Elden Ring, yeah. For some reason, I could not get more got Lord of Blood down. I absolutely hate that boss, which is weird, considering I, I see a lot of people really like Moog Lord of Blood, but I just... I despise that boss so much because he just spams AoE attacks everywhere and it's just like, ugh, so annoying. A lot of people love the boss though, which I find weird. I think it's just because they like how, like, dramatic the boss is. Cool little terrible boss. Yeah, Moglord of Blood is like, I just, I hated the fact that he just kept throwing bleed and fire everywhere. I, just, I, I don't like bosses that just spam like AOE stuff everywhere. I get that I get that it's like partially like a mechanic to learn. It's like oh you gotta learn to manage the arena and stuff. But I'm just like I don't I don't want to do that. I just want to hit a boss with stick. Yeah, if you don't have the tear, he just becomes insufferable. Right, where are the piranha plants? Can I go in here? No. I can go up here, though. Oh, God! Oh, you still getting big thing. Okay, where do I go from here? No, I couldn't say! <laughs> Damn camera. Right, I'm probably gonna give a few more attempts at this star and then I'm probably gonna call it today's stream. I just want my punchy weapon. Because uh, in Dark Souls 2, they had the Dragon Bone Fist, which was sick. Because you had bloody fist weapons that allowed you to do a Hadouken and a drop kick, which was so cool. And then they just didn't bring them back for some reason, even though they were so cool. But no, getting full martial arts. That's going to be... If the Itchy is like a full, like... I really hope it's like a spell series of like different like martial arts spells, because that would be so cool. Just put in the things from Sekiro where you can do like spin kicks and I'll be happy. <gasps> yes, I did play Sekiro. I played that through on stream. Ishin, I personally think Sword Saint Ishin is probably the best designed boss in any Souls game. Just gameplay wise. Lore wise, he's not very interesting and design wise, he's pretty boring. But gameplay wise, he is an example of like the perfect final boss in my opinion. In terms of just pure gameplay. Because he, what I believe, as a games designer, what I want to... Or well, games developer. What I believe a final boss should be is... A final boss should be a final exam. It basically should be... Okay, here's all the mechanics you've learned throughout the game. Prove that you actually know what you're doing. And Ishin is that. Ishin forces the player to use every mechanic they've learned throughout the game to beat him. And I think that's just... Pretty good. <laughs> It's incredibly well made. Unlike the bloody fire, the demon of anguish. That boss is the, the opposite of what a boss should be. <laughs> Especially in Sekiro, where it basically tells you, okay, you know all those mechanics you learned throughout the game? No. I got the game on Duvade to pick it back up. I quit at the first giant strapped to the wall. Yeah, no, that that's one of the that's one of the first. Sekiro, I'm like Dark Souls has like the walls, of course. Like in Dark Souls 1, you have the gargoyles and then you've all seen in small. Sekiro has tons of walls early on. Like you have the giant, you have Lady Owl, you have Genichiro. Like, it gives it so many walls. But it's just the combat is just so satisfying, so I had to stick with it. Can I even how did I make this jump before? Oh thank god I made it. I wanna I wanna analyze the situation correct, because I wanna grab the fire, 
Oh, no, the star's gonna fuck me up now because the camera's gonna fuck up. No, we good. Okay, jump down. Gently. Jump down. Oh, that was close. Woo! We got it, baby. Right, I'm probably gonna end the stream here for today because I've been going for a bit. Oh, I gotta stretch my arms. Jesus Christ. Oh, I felt my bones click there. Oh, thank Jesus Christ. Oh. Thank you for that. I hope anyone who watched this stream enjoyed it. You, I hope you have a good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever the time frame is, especially you buttered. I hope you have just a good whatever time frame. <laughs> Uh, next stream will be on Wednesday with the Genshin update for Arlecchino. And then next week, it will probably be back to the Dark Souls Arch Thrones and Mario 64 again. Most likely, unless something else pops up. But we'll be back to that. So I hope you all stay safe, stay hydrated. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Uh, that will probably be, that will be like next week on Tuesday or Thursday, probably. I, I'm not sure. It'll be Tuesday or Thursday. <laughs> but have a good one. Thanks for the follow there, Buttered. Hopefully you have a good one and hope to see you in a later stream. <laughs>